Hello and welcome to Golden Herb Studios. In this video, we're going to be learning how to break things apart. And when we break it apart, coins will spill out and it'll simulate physics. And then after a little bit, it'll disappear. So once you build what you want to destroy in Mecha Bricks, go ahead and import it as an OBJ. And I like to untick these studs. It just adds more mesh to it, but it can add more detail if you want. And then just export that as obj and unzip the folder and then import it in blender as obj and just select everything shade auto smooth and select everything tab and then q tries to quads or you can do f3 and type that in and then m merge by distance and bump that up a little bit and go to one and it dissolve vertices and then hide the bottom and click the top tab and face select mode, shift, uh, shift S to cursor to selected, tab Q origin to 3D cursor. So origin to 3D cursor, you can also click F3 and type that in. And then we want to unhide and delete that. Select everything and then S cursor to world origin Shift S cursor to world origin and then that selected to cursor. And then select everything again, export FPX, and I'm just gonna do my downloads. And I have the Lego to UE default, so I'm just gonna do mesh and then 0 0.05, these settings, and then face. And if you want to have this as your default setting you can add plus and then name it and click OK. In the Lego folder I already have it all set up. You have the stool mesh and the stool blueprint. So go ahead and just drag in from the folder if you just want to the stool and then build nanite, generate missing collision and make sure combined meshes is unticked and then everything else is just the same and import all. And then for the material, we're just going to switch it up real quick, open any one of these, and select everything except the metallic, and let's just call this brown, and then paste, and drag everything in, the roughness, and the normal, and then just delete this extra one, and then you want to get lerp, and drag it into the top, and the roughness, and do 0 0.5, 0 will make it shiny, and 1 will make it less shiny. And then go to content, blueprints, breakable. I already have the stool in there. I'm just going to delete it so I can show you how to do it. So just have the folder open and go back out and you want to do show and explorer. You can see it's empty. You just want to take the folder and drag in the UE asset. So just close it out and then go back in and you'll see that the stool asset is right there. You can open it up and if you imported the static meshes first, then you should have no issues. And then if you go into the event graph, we can walk you through it. It's the same thing from the AI. You just want to event begin play, get the player info. And on collision with the box, we want to check if the player is hitting it with a fist or weapon. And we want to check if they are hitting or slashing. And if they are, we want to go to do once play a sound, which is also in the LEGO tutorial folder, just in the SFX, and then right here at the LEGO sound effects, and then you just want to drag that in and plug it into there. And then the loot, which checks if it's gone over 10, and then delays, gives the coin, and then adds 1. So every time you add 1 to the loot given, it's adding 1, telling it that it's given a coin. And so we check over here to see how many coins we've gotten. So this number right here is the amount of coins that you want to give. So if you have 10, then you're going to give 10 coins. If you do 20, then it's going to give 20 coins, and so forth. So after loot, we want to simulate physics. And if you had three pieces, then you would want to drag the third one in here and then simulate physics for that as well. And just take that to make sure it's simulated. And then you want to delay by 3 seconds, and then turn off the simulation. So just copy and paste that, and then untick. And then you want to disable the collision, 
and then wait two, 0 0.2 seconds and then destroy the actor. So you can modify this to whatever you're doing. You can copy and paste this, call it whatever you want. If you're doing like a table and you have like four pieces to it, so you just want to make some room and then you would drag out all of those different pieces and then copy and paste that for like the third piece and then drag it in. And then you do that for the rest of these. You would need to add, turn off the third one as well and then disable the collision for the third one. So it's pretty simple, not too difficult. You can just switch out the blueprint that you want to give. So if you want to give a higher amount, bronze, stud, blue, you can switch that out. And then you also want to make sure that these are all just attached to the default seed root. And just make sure none of them got parented to any of these. You just want to be individual. So we're going to close that out, drag in the stool. I'll just drag in a couple of those. And when I click play, You can see that it breaks apart. Alright, and that's all for this tutorial of breaking objects. You can destroy the object by either punching or swinging at it, and then it falls apart, and after a little bit it disappears, and it drops some coins, which you can control the amount of coins dropped. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.